Hello and welcome to an unboxing video where we hope my microphone will continue to work throughout. Uh, in case you missed it last time or just because my audio didn't work, uh, our good friend Spencer, who writes all of our Tokyo content on WDW News Today and as well Universal Parks News Today, you should go check out all that Super Nintendo World coverage, it's really great. Um, occasionally buys me some stuff that's currently at the parks in Japan, but then sometimes some older stuff through uh, some other avenues in Japan. And then, uh, given the current situation, he then ships them in these big boxes. Every couple months I get a box. I guess everything came at once, kind of, this time. But but I have three large boxes. Last time we did one box, it was only 23 minutes long, uh, because we ended up uh, losing audio, and, and Tyler cut it down and made it somewhat watchable. But we're going to try to have audio the whole way through this time and show you everything I got in this particular box that was shipped all the way from Tokyo, Japan to Orlando, Florida. Lauren is here again. Hello, Lauren. Hi, guys. I'm here. You're going to make sure the mic doesn't break this time? Yeah, hopefully. That's good. All right, let's get started. Let's push this over here. I think I, I know a good thing to start with is probably this super cute hat. This is a cute hat. Uh, this is a... Oh, he's a reindeer. This is a Pluto Christmas hat. This was from last year Christmas, right? Oh, two years ago. Christmas 2019, Tokyo Disney Resort. It has instructions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on. Oh, my God. oh it's adjustable. That's good, because I probably have a much larger head than anyone in Japan. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really stay up, I guess. Oh, the, look at the tongue! <laughs> the tongue is the best oh part. Oh my god. Although this might be the best part. If you squeeze it the moves. paws. <laughs> Hello, Pluto! <laughs> this is me trying to swim. The doggy anyway. paddle. Doggy paddle, yeah, right. I don't, can we just do an hour of this? The whole video is just an hour of me doing this. Or next time your phone rings, I'll be like, <laughs> okay. No. Right. Look at the paws. Look at them. Why is he only three dots on his paw? Because he's a cartoon dog. Okay. This is an original Tokyo Disney Sea item, or the, from the opening of the park. This is the Captain Mickey ear hat. That's very Look at cute. He's got a plush feather and his ears. A little. Fl I'm gonna put it on. That's. I'm great. the captain now. <laughs> This is the, uh, well, the tag is good for the close-up. This is the final performance of Fantasmic, which got moved up actually from the date on here due to the COVID shutdown, but March of 20 was the end. They're Mickey Or no, February sparkly. ended up being the end, but uh, yeah, this is meant to be the Mickey at the end. And so the, the Mickey in the show has like a LED coat and hat. And so they were like, well, we have to make it look like that. We're not just gonna put him in like a colored hat. They actually like tried to mimic that's awesome. The LED, which is, I think, makes it so much Their Mickey has LEDs cooler. on him? Uh, their Fantasmic was way newer. Um, I think it started in, oh, I'm going to butcher this, maybe 09, 11, oh. somewhere in that zone. I don't remember. It might have been like 2011, actually. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I don't remember the year. It also says, in classic Tokyo fashion, Fantasmic forever. <laughs> All their goodbye stuff always says, like, the name of the thing and forever. Although the tag says final performance. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that's this. very cute. Look at this Mickey gem on the. Oh. That's that's cool. I remember when I ordered this, Spencer's like, really? I was like, I love light up stuff. This is. Uh, this was Christmas of 2019. Also, this is a bell. <laughs> there's there there you. That's a good shot. You can see them there. I think if I, no, I thought it'll work like a bell if I shake it. Oh, there's two settings of on. There's on and on to. On, off, and on to. Isn't that the sequel to Onward? <laughs> so this way, I think it's just the light. In case you don't want the kids to bother you, you can just put the light on. Then there's off. And then there's, all right, kids, have at it. Nope. I think I broke it. That's for when you send your there kids to their grandparents' house. You teach them what on to is. This is actually what I, every time I post a story on the website, I go outside. 
<laughs> Hear God. ye! I'm sure your neighbors love that. They do, they love me in general. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, the lanyard has like a crystal Mickey on it too. It's kind of fun. Thorough theming? What's that? I know, isn't this stuff great? What's in here? Oh, we have... Uh, this is the oh Easter my God. <laughs> Easter Wonderland 2011 ear hat, which has a full rabbit on it. Look at the Oh my God. That's, yeah. This goes with my glasses, the two glasses I opened in the last video. So we can sit and enjoy our parfaits. We have a, a electrical thing that goes off sometimes, but don't listen to that. Look at my <laughs> cute ears. Kind of matches my shirt. The colors are so 80s. Just like that neon. I think more like early 90s. All my childhood jumpsuits were in these colors. <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. This beep, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> that beeping is a great transition into. How does that make sense? Micro, I don't know, electronics. Oh. <laughs> Micro adventure. <laughs> You might be wondering what's micro. Do you know what micro adventure is? Absolutely not. It's honey, I shrunk the audience. But in Japan, they didn't know what that meant. So it's micro I adventure. I hardly know what that, no, I'm just kidding. So they're wearing the 3D glasses, the characters, it's fun. But also their lid. Was it the same? The yeah, it was still, uh, it was still honey, I shrunk the audience, yeah. It's just called micro adventures because they know, they understand what that means means that otherwise they have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, there's a tiny one. Oh. Tiny LED Mickey. I love yeah, Phantasmic. It's, it's the, your favorite, the uh, badge that you can clip on two different ways. That's awesome. Just so you don't lose it. Of course, it also says Phantasmic forever. I love Phantasmic. Forever. Well, this is neat. Cardboard toolbox. Uh, yeah. Wait, actually? <laughs> yeah. No, you get get the zoom in here. Grand opening fall 2001 cast member edition. Oh my god. Look at this Mickey. I was trying to make a joke. Look at this. Mickey and Sebastian, how cute, because it's Disney C. Yeah. They're Aww. painting the logo. I'm going to open this very carefully. That reminds me of, like, um, the back of the cruise ships. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a t-shirt in a size that'll never fit me, but how cool is that? Oh, that's it's very cute. It's a cast cute. member opening uh, or pre-opening shirt. There's a tag in here, too. <laughs> how cool. I'm going to try to close this without damaging this beautiful <laughs> box. By the way, the, the Disney Sea Mickey with the waves is on the side there. That's cool. All right, we got ceramics. Let's hope they didn't break. Oh, God. All right, Tokyo Disneyland 37th anniversary mug. It's so cute. Looks to be in good shape. The theme was <gasps> Fantasyland this That's year. That's so cute. They're like the blocky handle. Yeah. So the idea was the whole collection looks like it was carved uh, by Geppetto was the idea. That's awesome. Yeah, and so the characters even look like they're carved out of wood if you look real close. That's so great. Uh, and then there are Fantasyland rides, the carousel, the tea party, uh, even extinct ones. What's what's up here, folks? Skyway, the buckets. Hmm. How cool is that? Uh, and then we got Dumbo, got we got the Peter too. Pan. Uh, we got the Ferris wheel, which is from Pinocchio. That's from the Pleasure Island scene. And then there's something on the inside, which we didn't know before it came out. I just told I told Spencer I wanted it no matter what. But then once I saw this, <gasps> it oh. is the Mickey Mouse review. That's so it has awesome. the uh, the masks, the smiling and crying masks, and then also Mickey in his pose as conductor. That's great. Yeah. I love mugs. That's like my merchandise this of is a, choice. This is like a top ten mug. The blocky handle. That's a good one. What is this? Does oh, this was, oh yeah, this is the, the, I think there, I, I'm going to get this story wrong. I believe the fans were allowed to vote 
during Very, Very Mini, which was the event that ran from January until the park closed last year, which, by the way, was the greatest seasonal event any theme park has ever thrown, um, because it was an event where Mini came back in outfits from shows of the last, like, 20-something years. And so they, like, resurrected portions of shows and parades from the last, you know, however many years. Uh, and so they part of the promotion, they let people vote. Uh, and I think this is what won. And this is Hippity Hoppity Springtime Mini in a big plush form. That's very cute. It's it's very cute. There's like a whole big booklet here I kind of want to see. It's like wow. a webkin. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is intense. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is, I think, everything that was in Very Mini. That's awesome. Uh, and I know it's all of them because it keeps going on the other side. <laughs> Are those photos of the plush or of the No, character? these are mini in the costumes. 83. That's awesome. 83 mini costumes that have appeared for the history of Tokyo Disney Resort. Oh, there's so many fluffy dresses. That is, in, that is insane. But of course, I'm happy, like, while Hippity Hoppity Springtime 1, on the back here, extra featured, is Legend of Mythica, which if you have not watched Legend of Mythica, it was probably the greatest theme park show possibly ever staged. That costume watch. is amazing. Yeah. So they did small plush and the, the one I bought was the, they had a small poseable mini plush where you could dress it, you buy a separate dress for it. Mm -hmm. And I only bought the mini because I wanted the Legend of Mythica one. That's so awesome. I bought the mini and I bought the Legend of Mythica one. Did they have like all 80 something of the dresses that you could no, dress the No, I mini? think it ended up being six, six or eight. Don't quote me on that, it wasn't a lot. This is the Usapio Spring Fun Fair cup. That's cute. <laughs> that's very cute. I don't really even like the Usapio, but that's pretty damn cute. How do you not like it? It's a bunny chicken thing. It's so cute. <sighs> the show was terrible. Oh, well, I don't know anything the, about the, the show. The harbor show was awful. It's a rubber lid, which is fun. That's probably good, because I'm assuming a lot of kids Adults, the kids don't go to Tokyo Disneyland. Get out of here. It's all adults. I know, but that's like a kid-sized cup. It's, no, it's a Japanese-sized cup. Oh. <laughs> Generally, their, their average height is much shorter than us. I will tell you, I go there, and I can stand 30 rows back at a parade, and no one's... No one's past this point. Oh, it's, we did this math, and thing. I'm like six inches taller than the average. Yeah, the average Japanese height is what, five one, <laughs> something like that. Here's the magnet for that 37th anniversary with the Fantasyland stuff. Here's the what they call canned badge. We would call a button. Yeah, but theirs are so much nicer. I mean, yeah, it's got a silvery finish. It's very pretty. We don't even really sell buttons. Um, I don't know why I bought this. This is. This is tape. <laughs> it's just tape? like. But it's theme tape with like, like the Usapio tape? on it. So they have a big gift giving culture. So a majority of the things bought at Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea are to be given as gifts. And so this tape is a thing you would use to close the bag. If you gave someone a gift bag, you wouldn't leave it open. And so you might just apply a little bit of tape at the top kind of deal, which is what they do at the shops too, but, um, so but it's get, even if you tape. wrap it, I mean, you need tape, but it, the back will show you what the tape actually is with the patterns, but it comes in this really cool cardboard display, which yeah, is the, the hot air balloon. That's probably why I wanted it. I probably didn't even know what it was. They probably just showed like the cardboard and I was like, yeah, just get it. <laughs> All right, well, time for one of my favorites, file folders. <laughs> oh my God. All you Lisa Frank fans will be super happy. Well, first, this, this postcard fell out. Uh, this is the 2019 Christmas postcard, um, which was a cool year. They did sort of a vintage style. They kind of look like 80s, 90s art style, which I love. It's a postcard. All right, folders. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's Phantasmic Final Performance. Their Phantasmic looks cooler than ours. Their Phantasmic was not good. Oh, uh, really? No, it's kind of lame. Um, Is it as go. bad as ours? I think worse. Really? I mean, tech-wise better, but it's just weird. I mean, you know, all I care about is the tech anyway. But... I know. <laughs> uh, snow Snow Folders. This is a collection. So we have Snow Snow Mickey. Of 
the little the scalloped back. edges? On the back, yeah. On the back, there's all of them. Where's Snow Snow, Snow, Snow Pluto? Where is he? I don't know he? if he's in this one. There's many. <sighs> That's All of them offensive. on the back. Donald. Yeah, this is just going to be... So this year was not the Pluto year. This was the year after. Gotcha. Um, where Donald and Daisy were the thing. We've showed you the Donald and Daisy on the show before. It's still very cute. Yeah. A postcard was slipped in here. It is the phantasmic final performance postcard. Okay. Guess what file folder's next? <laughs> the 37th anniversary. Look at that small world. That's cute. That I, I love that the, uh, the Skyway is on like a decorative, uh, like bunting. Yeah. That's, that was a great idea. Great idea. Okay, so the so other cool thing you is... You can see the Mickey and Minnie a lot better on that than... This is the, the inside. Mug. Oh, that's cute. And then on the back... Aww. We see Mickey Mouse Review is there. But other things are here that weren't on the other stuff. The Haunted Mansion, which is in Fantasyland, Tokyo Disneyland. Oh. Um, all sorts of different Peter Pan vehicle. Uh, there's the more Dumbo. tea party stuff. Yeah, Dumbo was on the mug. Oh, I didn't see it. And then uh, this this garbage. Uh, <laughs> this like, looks like you Lisa Frank. It. This looks like Lisa Frank. Yeah, it does. I don't like the Usapio. This is a this is another folder collection. That's I like that pattern. Oh, that's cute. This one's kind of cute with the different expressions. I like that. The art style's good. That gives me like heavy And then these are actual vibes. photo ops in the park. A lot of these. That's have, so cool. I have a photo somewhere sitting in this stupid, sitting in one of these stupid things. Um, yeah, okay. That that concludes the folder portion <laughs> of today's uh, unboxing. Now for the baseball cap portion. Mm -hmm. What on earth is going on here? I am so confused. Were these sold as a set? No. Tokyo Tower of Terror hat with buttons. It has like the scared Donald Genie and Mickey. Mickey's the captain of Disney C. Uh, Shriki Utundu there in the <laughs> center. Uh, and I guess this was, maybe this was pre opening. Shriki Utundu arrives 9406, just in time for their fifth anniversary celebration that year, was the whole gimmick. It's like one of those plush, like trucker hats. Uh, but then there's a second hat that comes with more buttons, oh, which is why I was cool. confused. Mickey in the tower, Minnie. And Donald. That's why I thought maybe they were a set, but um, you could put them on here. This is this is cool. Um, we got the black and gray and white tones. There's, there's the sewn on Shrieky Atundu there. The actual tower uh, is there. If you don't know the full history of their tower and Tower Terror in general, if you search for the Tower of Terror Back to the Future on the main WWNT YouTube channel, we did a hours long show all about the history of all the Tower of Terrors, and I think you should watch it if you're not familiar with the Tokyo Tower, which has its own theme because they don't know what the Twilight Zone is, same way they don't know what Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is. Well, most people here don't know what the Twilight Zone is. Well, not anymore. Oh I'm God. for fat American hands and a puppet. <laughs> it's 37th anniversary Fantasyland Mickey. He's in his Lederhosen. Oh my God. Hello, I am Lederhosen Mickey. That's very cute though. Is the 37th logo on the back. It's so detailed, like a little pattern on the Lederhosen, or the, He does a little called. German dance. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is a Tokyo Disney Sea grand opening plush photo frame. <laughs> That's amazing and so impractical. It is very impractical, and that's why I needed it. So Completely weird. Impractical. It's weird. I love it. Look at it's got the original tag. I love it. I love when you have the tag. It's the best part. Yeah, a Fant mug too. Fant. Sorry. Spoken to someone who worked at Fantasmic. Yeah. Fantasmic. Final performance. Uh, What's fantastic. their dragon's name? Uh, it works. That's the name of the dragon. Oh my god! It's called it. It works the dragon. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> it's called. We spent money on the dragon. Oh yeah. What is? I don't even know what this is. It's Tower of Terror. We know that much. I thought that was a VHS box. 
No, the VHSs were much thicker. Lauren. Yeah, well, when you pulled it out of the packaging. This isn't big enough to be a uh, laser disc either. <laughs> I just don't know what a laser disc is. How does this, this opens? What on earth is this? I don't want to break it. It's a it's a box to eat in. This must have been sold with food, yeah. Aww. So you could, if you were in the park somewhere, maybe waiting for a show or something. That's awesome. You could build a tray, because this is a cup holder that hooks onto the side of the inside. That's it's amazing. It's a collapsible food tray. Uh, again, in a park where you know sometimes you're gonna wait hours for a show on the floor and you, you know, yeah, no, it's it's a fun idea. That seems more practical than like nail clippers or whatever else they Then Then the lunch bags they always make, they always do the lunch bags. This would have, I am I am 100% sure that this was sold with food in a restaurant. That's great. Um, but then at some point they moved to lunch bags. I think lunch bags have always been a thing. They them. should do that here and you can eat your Tony's spaghetti in line for... That, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds awful. Oh yeah, they did these weird snow snow like play sets. <gasps> That's so cute. They stack, so that one has Cinderella Castle and Snow Snow Mini and also a tea party cup she sits in. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's like the, um, oh, what's it called? Like Littlest Pet Shop, but like- I don't know what that is. Snow Snow, oh, that's amazing. That's after my time. Uh, <laughs> we have Daisy. Daisy has uh, Mount Prometheus covered in snow. That's amazing. She sits, oh no, she has a gift. Boring. These all stack though. So that's, yeah, that's, um, oh, that's New York. It's American Waterfront and Mount Prometheus. Uh, McDuck's department store is there. Um, McDuck department store? Yeah, oh, McDuck's. McDuck's is wild, I love that store. <laughs> um, oh, Mickey great. also comes with Cinderella Castle. He has a different color teacup. Aww. Yeah. And then, last but not least, uh, so Daisy and Donald got matching backgrounds, as did Mickey and Minnie. They're just different colors. Um, Donald comes with a little tree. That's so cute. Donald has a tree. These stack. See the yeah. instructions on the back? So you what, could build like a tall house. What year were these? These are probably 2019. Oh, okay, that's recent. No, these aren't old. This was a newer thing. When I, I mean, like when I was a child, toys like that were like really big, like littlest pet I shop. Mean, we, or there's like... always been weird little things like that. Polly Pocket. And, um, there was a like boys' version, Max, Mighty Max, I think it was. So you could zipper this egg closed, but it has feet. It has feet sticking <gasps> out because this guy done it. Aww. He's pretty cute. No, he's cute. He's very cute. The Usapio egg. This has something written on it. Niccolo Cicero. Oh. Look what Nick got. <laughs> Nick got a Tippy Blue. Since he dressed like Tippy Blue for Halloween on the show one year. Aww. Spencer got him a, a Tippy Blue. How cute. Gotcha, Pawn. Uh, more very mini. I guess he got, he couldn't put them all in one box. Memo pad set. Memo pad set. This is a memo pad set with a lenticular front. I'm gonna try to do this correctly. And for those of us who dropped out of college, what does that word mean? What does what mean, lenticular? Yeah. Uh, it means if you move it, the image changes. So see, oh. Stitch gets like shocked. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that's what that's called. I'm to be more in the called. center of this camera. I'm doing a bad job. And the memos look uh, pretty similar. You can see the art on the back there. But wait, there's more. <laughs> He bought two of them. I don't know why. But wait, there's something actually different in here. It's a lenticular keychain with the same art. <laughs> it's shaped like the tower. Is Stitch in there? No, Stitch was just on a lot of the merchandise. A lot of characters were on the merchandise. Oh, okay. Uh, on the back of the keychain, we can see uh, they. This is very thoughtful because they. You can't flip it over in the package. So they cut a hole out. Tricky Atundu. Oh, on that's the other cool. side of this key keychain. I don't know what, what it is. This is probably the phone one. They've always been real big on these phone 
on the strap. Uh, string strap things. Uh, this is just a Disney C classic logo one. I thought it was pretty cool. The, I love the Mickey with the waves logo. I've always liked that. I like that better than like a pop socket. A Beauty and the Beast tiny spoon that says Enchanted Castle. <laughs> Why is that so pretty though? I don't know, it's a spoon. <laughs> I don't think this is even from the park. I think he got this from the, I think we sent him to a Beauty and the Beast meal somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. This appears to be a 37th anniversary music box. We're gonna have to open it. Well, you it. have to play it. Yeah. It's it's paper around the music box, so it's not anything expensive. It's kind of a trinket. Okay. Um, the Children of the World are on this, though, so I think we know what song's gonna play. Also, some horses. Great big beautiful tomorrow. Good good one. Thank you. There you go. Very cute. God, I love tchotchkes. <laughs> Clip that. The weirder and less practical the item is, the more I love it. Uh, this is a sticker pack. 37th anniversary sticker pack. Cute. Look how cute this box is. And if you want to know what stickers are in it, they're like, don't worry, we'll show you all of them in the in the interest of transparent uh, shopping. We will show you all the stickers. That's great, though. Oh, man. I don't know if you can see this. One of the stickers is the mansion, but next to the mansion are wood-carved doom buggies with ghosts in them. I don't Aww. think that's on any of the other stuff, which might have been why I bought this. All right, Tomika. Little <laughs> die-cast vehicles. I love these. For the 37th, they did... Mad Tea Party Cups with the, the Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Daisy on them. And they actually spin on the base. Of course they do. Because thoughtfulness. This box is not damaged. I'm very happy. <laughs> the other crazy detail, you want to see something? They have the like rotating disc in the middle. Does they're, it? They're <sighs> completely detailed. That's Disney Easter 2020 uh, transit steamer from Disney Sea. Cute. And a resort liner bus with the snow snows. And if you look real close, Snow Snow, Mickey and Minnie are driving. That's great. <laughs> this is a this is an interesting story. Uh, we went um, for Christmas in 2019, and the one thing I wanted most of all was this. I didn't want any of the other plush badges. I just wanted this deer. Hmm. I just wanted this little deer. It sold out the first day. We got there a couple days after the start. And so I think I think Spencer found this on the secondary market. It's, it's very cute. Yeah, I just, I love him. I needed little it. Little snowflake on the back. Yeah. We have the final performance of Fantasmic Pin. Yeah, more fan. Yeah, their Mickey very, just looks so much better than ours. Very glittery. This is an old bag. Old like how old? Probably shortly after Disney Sea opened. Oh, so like really old. This is probably like mid two thousands. Don't quote me on that, but it's that would be my guess. These are the Hotel Miracosta, thirty fifth anniversary amenities. You, if you were staying, you could take these with you. This is a tin. They themed them. That's they always great. do. Yeah, anniversaries. Yeah. Now it's in bag. Alf's back, and he's in bag form. I love it. Yeah, I know, I bought, why does he buy everything with the same art? It doesn't change. <laughs> the sir, uh, wait, okay, so. I know I'm deranged, everyone, just go with it. So do they just do a celebration every year? Every year a merchandise line gets released. There's not an event. That's amazing. It's just a merchandise line generally, unless it's a five year. Obviously the 35th was very big. Yeah, 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 like yeah. every five so years So the good like news is those, those doom buggies are here. You can see them nice and clear now. Right in the middle. Oh, nice. Right next to the mansion. Very cute. Those are cool. This, oh, this is practical but insane and I love it. All I right, so how is that practical? I don't know. It's a container. Oh. Probably like pens and stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to be for, but it seems like a desk item. So it's Small World carved out of wood. That's very cute. It's supposed to be a music box, so there's a. Aww. Yeah, fine. I'll go to Tokyo. Yeah, fine. 
the year before they did all the Main Street buildings, it was the same type of box, but it was Main Street facade. Excuse me, World Bazaar facade. Oh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Disney C sixth anniversary pin. Oh. Captain Mickey. This is a Disney C first anniversary charm. Charm for what? Like a bag? Like a, That's a too charm. big for you a bracelet. Bag, you put on whatever you want. Bracelet. Okay. Uh, these are memo pads, but they made them look <gasps> like tickets. Those are so cute. This was Christmas of 19. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and then the, the actual the tickets look like <gasps> the memos. Oh look my like, yeah. God, that's adorable. Yeah, I like that. This is from the Disney Sea Grand Opening Premiere Party. This is the lanyard. That's that very got. cool. September 2nd, 2001. There's nothing on there. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is bizarre. <laughs> Isn't all of this? Stuff? These this is a memo pad holder made to look like the popcorn bucket that was released for Tower of Terror. That is stitch on. the most niche piece of merchandise. So there are I've memos in of. here <laughs> that are shaped like the popcorn bucket and they're in this plastic case. That is insane. Yeah. A memo pad. Uh-huh. Shaped like a popcorn bucket. Oh yeah. Featuring stitch also this, themed to Tower of Terror. I'm glad this isn't broken. It would have been Spencer's head for the 25th anniversary grand finale, Dreams Go On, January 19th through 4, 14, 2009. So the, the end of the anniversary uh, events are called grand finales. Um, so it's kind of like a separate version of the celebration. And so the end of the 25th anniversary got this Dreams Go On motif. Uh, and this was a glass served only at Hotel Maricosta. Ooh. Yeah, that's also a thing they still do is like glasses only at certain venues for anniversary. 37th anniversary postcard. Very, very mini postcard set. Volume three. Oh. So they kept doing the different costumes in these postcard sets. So there are a lot more of the postcards than there are of the plush with the different costumes. So um, I'm assuming their postcards aren't supposed to be like postcards that you mail to friends and they family. They actually are. They're, oh. very big on, they're very big on it. It looked like just There's a station art. in every stationery. Oh, volume two as well. There's a station in every stationery store where you can fill it out and then the mailbox is right there. Oh my God. Wait, they have stationery stores? Yeah, they're my favorite. Il Postino at Disney Sea is my favorite store in any park. Love it. There's the magnet for Easter. Oh. Press pennies. <laughs> Happy Easter 2020. One man's dream two forever. I'm not even gonna bother trying to show you those because they're not gonna show up. This is the 37th pin. And if you look, it has like a textured finish that kind of looks like it's carved out of wood. Is it like 3D? Yeah. That's sick. So it looks like it's actually carved. Yeah, that's sick. It's sick. Sorry. It got <laughs> the Lauren sick that? of approval. It's been an hour. Have I not said that yet? I don't know if you've ever said your catchphrase on the air. I, it's a, uh, oh, I'm sure man, I have. there's a lot of stationery in here. This is like a plush. Uh, this might be another one of those phone charm things. Shriki Atundu with Mickey in weird glowing green. No, it doesn't light up. This is a big sticker. This is a See, very all the large sticker. So it's all the Disney Sea characters afraid of Shriki's arrival. Why is um, Genie? Genie is there because of Arabian Coast. They have an okay. Aladdin land. Mermaid is there because of Mermaid Lagoon. Yeah. And the rest of them obviously are the main characters who live. But they're decorate. They're dressed in the different land costumes. So Goofy's dressed in his. Uh, Port Discovery outfit, Donald in the Nautilus hat for Mysterious Island, Mickey's the captain, Minnie's dressed for uh, Lost River Delta, and Pluto is dressed for, yeah, Italy. So he's dressed for Porto Paradiso. Yeah. Mickey, That's I guess, cool. is representing uh, American Waterfront. Here's another one. This is, I thought it was a flip book. It's not, they're, they're notes. It's a little notepad. What kind of notes are you writing on that? Just tiny little notes. <laughs> These are cute. Stickers! Yay, more stickers. I love stickers. And oh, this is cool. This is a uh, embossed magnet. 
Oh, cool. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, no. I'm out of room for this. Aww. This appears to be a, it is a wind up. It is That's a wind up great. toy monorail. All right. Oof. That's great. <laughs> it's actually made of tin. This is It looks like a little bug. Oh, this this is one of my favorite things. Does it have a face on the front of that? No, it's the, the, the it's light. the front of the train. Okay, it looks like it's smiling. That is, that's <laughs> me smiling. It's, it's a rare sight. Uh, this is, uh, this is for you to sit on. This is a mat. This is a parade. They call it for parade. For like the parades. Parade mat, but show mat. Yeah, so while you're waiting, it is uh, considered a faux pas to sit on the ground. And so out of this bag comes a uh, floor mat. But everyone sits on the floor, right? For like parades But and you shows have to sit on this or they look at you like you're weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I've seen people who forget to bring them unfold like two maps and sit on the maps on the floor. Oh. It's it's a weird that the floor is dirty. Don't sit on the floor directly. I mean, I agree, but people just stand your, up. It's here. your pants. Easter button. Final performance of Phantasmic Keychain. With a gold source for Mickey. Yes, I bought everything that said Phantasmic. As you should. See? <laughs> it's a judgment-free zone. You didn't get any of the... Easter 2020 dangly pin. Too bad they didn't do a merch line for our final show of Phantasmic. Wow. I'm just kidding. I have this. So this is the bag that the stuff in your hotel came in. This is a gift bag for you to take with you from your hotel. Great. This was for the 35th anniversary. That's amazing. The happiest celebration, which was I miss very much. It was a good time. I went to the first and last day of that. Oh. It was very emotional. <laughs> I don't know. This is also probably from that Beauty and the Beast dinner thing he went to. The meal. This is, I don't know, it's a coaster, I think. A clear bell coaster. Oh, these are fantastic. What is it? These are wood style, like vintage style ornaments. They're wood. Oh, that's So fun. these are released in 2019, but they're meant to look like, like, uh, like in the 80s, you'd see a lot of these, these yeah. flat wood. There's also a pressed penny in there for nice. whatever reason, but you get the idea. Oh, this is the tiny cup you get at the hotel, the Miracosta. This is the cup. I'm not going to unwrap it. This like was the 35th cup, cup you get. The cup is one of the amenity things. So you get the bag, the cup, toothbrushes, and the little the little kit, if you will. More pennies. That's going to be cool. I also love these bags. They're great for traveling. And I feel bad because I destroyed my 35th bag, and I probably should have. But it's good to use things, too, I suppose. This is... <laughs> I like these because they zip or close. They remind me of the bags we used to sell here that were, they were the perfect size for like carry-on. So more this was the dreams. new dreams more fun. New dreams more fun. This was the Fantasyland expansion. I gotcha. This is the bag. Very cute. And it's a zipper bag, which is super convenient. Is it I love it's clear on the shiny? sides and you can see like there's a pattern. Is it what? Is it insulated no. or just shiny? Why would it be insulated? I don't know. <laughs> Why though? Like a cooler bag? Just shiny. Bag? Just shiny. Okay. All right, last thing. This is cool though. Usually they don't do a window box for these. What is it? A watch. Oh. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, man. It's probably for ladies. I oh. Never wear this, but... It is a watch. I thought you said watch like. Let no, me open it's a watch. it and you'll see. The band is all that artwork for the Fantasyland 37 stuff. That's cool. And the face is Mickey and Minnie. It's definitely a ladies' band. But I don't care. I'm not going to wear it, but I love it. That's cool. That is that is super cool. And it, it's very nicely packaged. The back is etched. It also says 37th anniversary on the date, April 15, 2020. This got released later, obviously, because they were closed, but... Uh, Why were they closed? 
Huh? Sorry, dumb joke. <laughs> you said, why were they closed? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> why were they closed? I have no idea. What could have happened last year? There's like a parallelogram or something going around, right? A what? Never mind. A parallelogram? <sighs> I don't know what she's talking about. That's the box. Hopefully my audio worked. Sounded good to me. That's good. All right, I'm going to get on out of here on the resort line. <laughs> here we go. Go, resort line, go! If you enjoyed this, we have another one coming. Uh, please hit the like button if you did. Please subscribe to the entertainment channel. I will, I will show you guys more stuff as it arrives from all different places. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Go, resort line, go! <laughs>